Today we're going to make one of my favorites, the X-Leg Entry Table. And now I'm going to show you how to build it from start to finish. Alright, so to start we're going to cut our center legs and our center brace. And they're all 27 and a half inches. So the first thing I like to do when I get a new board is I want to cut this edge off because I like to get a nice square edge. And the factory cut isn't always square, so I always take just a blade length off and I'll just push it up to the saw blade and cut that off. That gives us a nice cut, nice edge. So we're going to set our stop at 27 and a half inches. So now that we've cut our legs and our center brace, I'm going to run through the table saw and take off this round edge. So I'm going to set the blade up to just take off this side, and it's going to give us a nice square edge. See, just taking off just a little bit of it, and now we have a nice square edge on it. So I'll do all of them like that. Okay, we've made all our cuts. So now I'm going to run all these boards through the planer and give our top a nice smooth finish, and it's going to make them all the same thickness. So when we glue it all together and make this top together, it should be nice and even. And it won't take as much sanding once we glue it together. So now we're going to run through the planer. two by sixes and glue them together and let them sit overnight. Now I'm going to take two by four and we're going to attach it to the very end. Just like that. And then we'll sand it down and make it smooth. So I'm going to take my two by four here. I'm going to take our pocket hole jig. And we're going to drill us, uh, three holes in it. Now we've got our pocket holes drilled in here. We're just going to line this up on here. Get it even. Put a little glue on it. Right. 
of this, what our top's going to look like. Now we're going to go back and sand it down to make it even and smooth. Okay, now we've got it sanded smooth. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a coat of stain on it. So while the stain's drying, we can go ahead and build the rest of the table. Okay, so we've cut our center leg and our center brace at 27 and a half inches. So now we're going to take our pocket hole jig once again. And we're going to drill two holes on the back side so we can attach our center brace. Now that we've got our center put together, we're going to attach our stretchers to the top and the bottom. Alright, we got our stretchers at 15 inches. So this is what our table's going to stand on and then we'll have a top piece for the table center. So in order to make these feet, I want to put like a little angle on it, give it a little bit of style to it, I guess. So I'm going to cut them at uh, 45 degrees. And I don't want to cut all the way off, I'm going to leave a little edge on it. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. And then I'll take my sander and kind of round this off a little bit. So I've taken the sander and sanded off that sharp edge, gives it a little better look on our stretchers here. And then I marked it at seven and a quarter, which is halfway. Lined them up and I marked all of them. Now I'm going to take this drill bit, it's got a countersink on it, and we're going to drill holes in each of these so we can mount it to our center legs. So that's where the screw will go. The screw had to go down in here, so it'll be nice and flush. stretchers on here now. This is where our table's going to sit. And now we have to make the X. So we're actually going to take we have a board here and one here and that's going to make our X. So now we have to lay out for that. So now we're going to lay out the X part of our leg here. So we'll take our 2x4 and we mark, mark it at the center. And we're going to come in about a half inch in from here. So we'll lay this up here where we want it to be. And that's where it's going to line up. So I'm going to mark it on the back side and then we'll cut it. So we'll 
make our cut here and here. And we'll have a leg here and one here. Okay, so we've got our angle cut for our first X. And you see this is a very, very sharp angle. Most of your miter saws only go up to about 60 degrees. And this is probably over 70 degrees. So what I've got here is a little jig I've made. So I've got this jig I've made and attached to my table saw. And it's about a 31, 32 degree angle. And I clamp it to my fence. And this is a sacrificial board I put on here. And we'll just lay our board here and we'll make that sharp cut. You gonna stay down there? Huh? Now we've let our stain dry overnight, so now we're going to put a couple coats of a clear gloss polyurethane on our tabletop now, and once that dries, we'll be able to attach it to our table. base is dry. I'm going to attach it. I drilled a countersunk, a hole here, here, over here, and here. So four little holes. And I'm just going to attach it with some screws. I'm not going to attach it real tight. I want it a little loose because you know wood moves and expands and contracts with the weather. So we don't want it tightened down too much. Just snug it in. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.